Hi there, and welcome to this class. For this class, we're looking at how to combine the different laws of indices to solving problems. So in this case, we are having this question here, which is 3 to the power n minus 3 to the power n minus 1 divided by 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power n minus 27 times 3 to the power n minus 1. All right, so we to get this done, how do we solve this? Um, first things first, let's see how we can... If you look at this critically, right, we can see that we have 3 to the power n here, 3 to the power n here, 3 to the power n here, also 3 to the power n here. Just so let's say we can possibly factorize 3 to the power n. But to do that, we need to, this one has n minus 1, n minus 1. We have to separate them. And how do we do that? From here, this would be equal to, um, this gives you 3 to the power n minus, this becomes to the power n now we know something that from the uh, multiplication law of indices that a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n okay also from the division law of indices we know that a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n now check this out check this out there's a way we can combine these two laws in which we can have something that looks like this. So let's say if I have something of this nature, a to the power m times a to the power minus n. In this case, this would be equal to a to the power, since they are multiplying, I will add the parts. It becomes m plus what I have here, minus n. And that will be equal to a to the power m plus minus is minus n. So I have this one here. So I'm saying, if I have a case where I'm having a to the power m minus n, becomes a to m, that's this, multiplying a to the power negative n, that's this. So if I use that concept here, it means I'm having 3 to the power n multiplying 3 to the power, this one here, minus 1. This works. The same thing, all right? From here, divided by this now becomes 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power n minus i'm having here as 27 this would now be times this one also becomes 3 to the power n multiplying this to the power minus 1 3 to the power minus 1 so i have this all right simplifying further this will now be equal to so in a case where I have these terms now multiplying each other here, I can simply factorize. By factorizing, I mean I'll take out what's common. What's common here is 3 to the power n. All right? It's here and it's also here. If I bring out 3 to the power n here, what I have here is 3 to the power n. If I divide this by 3 to the power n, this cancels this. I'm having 1. It becomes 1. This sign here is minus what I have here is 3 to the power n times 3 to the power minus 1. Divide this by 3 to the power n. This will cancel this. I'm left with 3 to the power minus 1. So I'm having this. So this is how you factorize, basically. All over, bring out, I'm seeing 3 to the power n and also 3 to the power n here. So if I factorize this, 3 to the power n, here I'll be having... 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power n divided by my factor 3 to the power n. Observe that this cancels this. I'm left with 3 to the power 3. So 3 to the power 3 minus what I have here is 27 times 3 to the power n times 3 to the power minus 1 all over 3 to the power n. That's this one here. So this will cancel this. I'll be left with 27 times 3 to the power minus 1. So I have this. All right, so I have this. So in this case, now what do you observe? This will cancel this. All right, it's mathematically correct. It cancel out. And that will be equal to, I'm left with numerator, I have 1 minus 3 to the power minus 1 all over. Here I have 3 to the power 3 minus 27 times 3 to the power minus 1. All right, numerator is this. 
denominator comes down. So I'm having this. All right, let's simplify further. Simplifying further, what do I have there? This is equal to, this becomes 1 minus, this one here, we use the negative index law, which says that to eliminate this negative here, I'll have 1 all over 3 to the power 1, all right? So to eliminate the negative, I'll take inverse of this all over, for this I have 3 to the power 3 is 3 times 3, which is 9 times 3, which is 27. So I'm having 27 minus, here I have 27 times, okay? To eliminate this one becomes 3 to the power minus 1 is 1 all over, okay? That becomes 1 all over 3 to the power 1. So I have this. Of course, 3 to the power 1 is 3. Also, 3 to the power 1 is 3. So I have the same thing here. So this will now be equal to what we said. What do we get? This is equal to. All right, so next up, I'll try to solve this one here as a fraction, and that becomes 1 minus 1 over 3. First things first, this is all over 1, obviously. The LCM of 3 and 1 is 3, so I have 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3, times 1 is 3, minus 3 divided by 3 is 1, times 1 is 1. So I have this. So I'm having this one here all over, work on this one here, this now becomes 27 minus, from here, 27 times 1 over 3, 3 here, 1, 3 here, 3 times 9, it becomes minus 9 times 1, which is 9, all right, work on this, this is equal to, this is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2, all over 3, this Okay, so 2 over 3 divided by 27 minus 9 is 18. So I have this. All right, so I can expressly write this as being equal to, this become 2 over 3 divided by 18. If I work on this, that's equal to 2 over 3. This becomes times, invert this, becomes um, 1 all over 18. So I have this, all right? So change this to times, take this upside down, it becomes 1 over 18. Obviously, 18 here is the same thing as 18 over 1. If I turn it upside down, it becomes 1 over 18. So work on this here from here. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 9. And that's equal to 1 times 1 is 1 all over. 3 times 9 is 27. So my answer here is 1 over 27. So this is how we solve this problem all right all right then if you enjoyed this video and you want more of my courses i have over 100 videos on mathematics chemistry physics and other sciences all right to access my courses simply visit my website www.junaimmanuel.com forward slash courses and you see um my course on jam slash wire classes so you can get the course there and to give you access, a lifetime access to over uh, 100 of my tutorial videos, all right? All right then, um, thank you very much and see you in the next class.